Welcome back. So, uh, recently I was very excited to see that Telmarch has released the source code for playshogi.com. Uh, you might recognize playshogi.com as the place that you can practice sumashogi. Um, yes, now they have gotten back to me and then some. They've actually uh, released playshogi right here. Um, so, this morning, off stream, I took the liberty of integrating a CI CD pipeline in GitHub so that every time we check in something, GitHub can tell us whether GitHub can compile it and run it and stuff. So, like here, this is GitHub showing that it can compile here's a library, here's a library, it compiles all these libraries, and then compiles the site itself. So, compilation is now reproducible on this machine, on the developer's machine, and on my machine. So like everybody can develop this. And if we wanted to, we could add some tests to this and see um, that the tests pass. Um, so yeah, we've got a pipeline going that shows like if you want to install things, put in this operating system, this compiler, this development tool, run these commands in this order, and you too can compile the site on your machine. Uh, let's see, you were talking about the other person. Oh, um, you're talking about like the vote chess person? Like, I'm not sure who you're talking about. There's a lot of people. Uh, well, this is cool. We got three contributors here. So yeah, I've been added as a contributor. Um, didn't even know I got added here, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's just a result of my code being accepted or if I've been explicitly given some special permissions here, but that's pretty cool. Either way, this, as far as I can tell, this has a open source license and is redistributable and is a public repository. And the terms of this are Afro GPL version three, the same stuff Lee Chess uses. Basically, if you're running the site, and a user connects to your site, that user can ask for the source code. So that's the notion behind this particular license, that you can redistribute it and share it. And uh, I mean, you could try to profit from this, but like any user of the site can ask you for the source code, so profiting might be hard. But if you find a way to profit from it, fine. But also be aware that users can ask you for the source code. So those, that's the license terms. Uh, See, so yeah, I starred this this morning as well. And like, here's all the code listed uh, there. And we can see on my local box, I have checked out all the code and I've run the commands to go install all the libraries here. I even made this convenience build script. Um, yeah, this is my first attempt. I did change directory to everything, did a Maven install, 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 install. Turns out these are the actual commands that GitHub uses. I don't need these top six lines in my build script anymore. I can just, boom. All right, clear cat build. So yeah, this is how you compile the stuff. So um, what have I been contributing? Other than the CI CD pipeline, nothing yet. So I want to see can I compile this? Can I deploy it? And then maybe at some point I'll contribute something. I don't know. But yeah, my first goal is just to make sure that uh, this is as easy for any developer to use as possible. So if there are any stumbling blocks, I will run into and run over every one of them. We'll get through it. So that's the plan. So today we're going to see if I can follow directions. This could be hard. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. This, For whatever reason, this formatted the way it did. It'd be easier just to read it this way. So let's just read the raw text of it. So short guide on how to deploy the site on a clean Ubuntu 20.04 machine. OK. Uh, sure, let's do that. Uh, boop. All right, let's get the MySQL installed. We can do that. 
I'm going to see if I can follow directions. Hey, Nibi. Yeah, you are witnessing the first live installation of uh, Play Shogi. Not that there isn't already a running instance, but I'm just showing, like, if you were to try to install this on an Ubuntu 20.04 machine, which I happen to have, um, this is the experience you're going to have. So we're going to see if I can follow directions. And hopefully the directions are perfect. If not, we'll figure it out. It's okay. There's nothing like doing things live. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Validate password component can be used to test passwords and improve security. Um, all right, he doesn't say that we need this special stuff, and I honestly, for development purposes, am going to opt. No, I don't want secure passwords. All right, new password. Um, well, since we're doing this on stream. Password is going to be the password. Remove anonymous? No. We can always reinstall this and set up things in a more secure way. Disallow local root. Well, that's exactly the opposite of the next step here, which is we're going to allow root to connect by password. Um, so no, let's just allow root to connect. Remove test database. Nah. We can leave the test database there. Reload privilege tables. Okay. Sure, I guess. Well done. All right, nice. All right, we are logged into the console. Sure. Nice. Oh, interesting. This has to use a SHA-2 password. Whatever. I probably did something stupid there. Um, set up database. All right. So file dash. Uh, oh, MySQL Workbench. <laughs> Oh, okay, I've never used this tool before. This is delightful. Oh, nice. Very cool, maybe. Yeah, I'm just seeing can I install the thing at all. Uh, I saw, like, you were working on some new pieces or new UI. That's uh, good. <sighs> I've never heard of this MySQL Workbench, but we'll figure it out. Search the web for... Okay. It's a thing. Nice. Sure. Okay. Yeah, why not? Why not? Download now. Microsoft Windows. Yeah, that's good enough. Now... Wait, is this possible to install on Linux? Interesting. Uh, but I don't have a GUI if I do it that way. Like, my Linux is a server. It has no desktop, basically. So I want to have the thing where I can interact with this in a GUI. Uh, we'll just start the download for now. Okay, do I need everything? Yeah, that's fine. Community edition of the workbench. Okay, you can install that. Hooray! Okay, let's launch this. So we've installed MySQL Workbench. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, that's funny the way this dimensioned itself. All right, file export forward engineer. Uh, I'm a bit confused. The point of getting the GUI was so that it could guide me through some of this a little bit. Uh, I don't see a file export. Forward engineer, all right. Now, maybe I did something dumb. Okay. Ah, I see. So here he's suggesting make these changes locally, SCP them over to your server, which is gonna be able to process schema.sql. Now, was I provided a schema.sql? Because if so, I don't necessarily need to take this literally. So, is there a schema.sql in this repo? There's a MySQL. There's a gitignore. There's a MWB. Probably that's the thing I should import. Um, Okay. Oh, and this was using IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, that's also good to know. I should probably try that. Uh, so far, I've only tried my builds on Linux itself, but I could probably do a Windows-based build that uses this. Um, all right, so cancel. We're not gonna do a new model. We're going to open a model and this is going to ask us for a MySQL workbench, a MWB. Thankfully, in advance of the stream, I had started up GitHub Desktop, which, now that I see I could just use IntelliJ, like, using this is a bit silly, but, um, yeah, if I want the folder that contains the MWB, here's how I get it from GitHub Desktop, and then I say this is the folder, and this is the workbench model. Sure. Okay. Um, so we want to file export forward engineer. Export forward engineer SQL create. Select drop before create. Okay never use this okay yeah that's there nice and select insert for tables insert 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 oh there it is all right um okay we're going to export this to a file oh wait if i don't need a file then yeah we'll just hit next here and yeah i can just view this here and exit, let's see, where am I? Oh, uh, we want to go back to the Shogi. Uh, let's see. Now I'm gonna go over to play Shogi, then schema.sql. Boom, there we go. And he suggests remove the line, grant execute on routine. All right, we can do that. Remove the line like that. All right. SCP it. Well, that's done. Uh, import schema. Okay. Um, probably should have thought this through a little bit more because I don't think this is going to allow me in unless I type in. It's not password, is it? <laughs> no, I actually have to use the real root password to get in. Okay, whatever. Uh, interesting. Yeah. I am installing playshogi.com on my box. 
Yeah, it's so polite. Um, so I'm taking what Tell March developed and put on GitHub, and literally just doing everything I can to follow directions. Keeping in mind, this is the first time anybody's done any live installation from this set of directions. I'm not expecting perfection. I'm not here to grill him. He's not here to grill me. This is going to be a learning experience for us all. It'll be great. It's wonderful having this. Uh... Oh, it's telling me that commenting out the lines is syntax error, and I actually have to remove it. I can't read. All right, let's actually follow directions. And password. Yeah, okay, that seemed to maybe do something. Maybe. There was no error. So let's just assume that worked. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, hang on. Okay. Um, I should be in two places at once here. So let's tmux it. And I forget how tmux works. Uh, but, yeah, on the one hand, I can be, like, in my shogi directory, and in the other, I can be, uh, let's see, how do I get back into the MySQL prompt again? Pseudo MySQL. Why am I do, why do I even need to pseudo that? Um... Weird. Access denied. Using password. All right. Man, my SQL. Password. Uh. Okay. Ah, this is why I need sudo there. So that it attempts to log in as root. Okay. So I've got two terminal sessions going in a single terminal, and then over here, how far back, how far down did I get? I created the schema, SCP'd that over, imported it. Now we're going to update the user auth. Play Shogi. Uh, okay. Probably should create a user called Play Shogi. We'll find out. Um, identified by password play shogi db1. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should create a user play shogi. Right, and this does say. Yeah, it says bye when you quit, which is pretty cute. Uh, sudo user add dash m play shogi. Uh, yep. There we got a play shogi, like the same we've got a leech s and a leech hawker and a fish test and a no name go server nngs. And several other fun things there. Um, so let's see. Um, so now it wants me to import the data. All right, so let's go back here. The data is located somewhere. There's a folder dumps, I guess. Maybe not, maybe I need to make a folder dumps. Uh, all right, so Export user objects, table objects, etc. Yeah, I guess. Guess we need to start saving some files. Um, sure. Place Shogi MySQL. Uh, what were they calling this? Schema dot SQL. Sure, whatever. Uh, view objects, routine objects, trigger objects, user objects. Next. 
finish. Alright, so if I'm to list everything in here, I still don't have uh, the data dump here. Um, I know Telmarch was so kind as to suggest um, that if I have questions I should contact him. So he's possibly not imagining, and I'm being a dum-dum for not thinking about this, um, that I would live stream the installation. Um, yeah, let's skip the data import because I forgot to ask for that. Um, so let's just skip to the fun part. Uh, yeah, let's install Tomcat. Why not? But yeah, I guess that is a very polite thing for uh, the database to say bye when you log out. Not all databases are so polite. Alright, so here we've got the Tomcat users file. Oh, why did I do nano? I should have done vim. I'm more familiar with vim. Okay, we want to add a role. So let's copy this. Right, we can't, I don't know how shortcuts work here. It's fine. Tomcat users, end of Tomcat users. So, um, yeah, after all those examples, let's add this role and this user. Um, okay, so we've configured that. And then let's get the MariaDB driver. Okay. Um, there is a dot here, right? Oh, we're going to copy this driver into that directory. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, we have version 2.5.3 of the driver. Indeed, we do. All right, and then we could restart Tomcat on this box, running on port 8080, probably. Uh, open the website. All right, nice. So we got the installation working for the most part. Um, he did caution me, don't do this IP table stuff unless you know what you're doing. Um, no, that's good. So we could deploy the site as a WAR file. So at this point, I'm still missing the data file. I'm not going to be able to fully proceed with this. But I can still uh, start up IntelliJ IDEA and make some attempt at using this tool that I've never used before. Um... Yeah, let's use the dark theme. Um, default plugins. That looks about right. If Maven's here, I'll take it, but I'm not. Oh, there it is. Default tools. Yeah, nice. Featured plugins. I'm waiting for Scala 3 to come out later this year. Um, it's very exciting. All right, let's start using IntelliJ. Uh, sure, whatever. Allow this program access to everything. Then we'll... oh. Um... I forgot that other IDEA programs already have some notion of uh, being able to work directly from version control. Let's see. So let's log in. Oh, hang on. I need my two-factor code. One second. OK. 
Okay, my two-factor code, which rotates very frequently. Uh, presently, I think this is it. All right, and from here we can select, what the heck was it? Play Shogi clone. And this will clone it to wherever IntelliJ IDEA puts um, things in its workspace, etc. Uh, yeah, you can convert any Java class to Kotlin with Apple logo K which is pretty cool if you've got uh, an Apple thing. But I don't have an Apple thing. Yeah, so that notification is just about Windows Defender. Um, Windows needs to know that IntelliJ is not a virus. Windows Defender has been updated to not be ridiculous. Uh, yeah, let's install the GWT web framework that I've used before, but never used it in IntelliJ before. That should be fine. Um, yeah, so I should, theoretically, this should just compile. Um, but like I was saying earlier, uh, I, it was remiss of me not to ask for the database dump. I could maybe compile and run without it. Um, we could find out. I'm also kind of curious. Well, hang on. So I've used... So this is the readme. We don't need the readme over there. Um, so, like I said, I set up a reproducible build on Linux. I don't... As far as I can tell... Well, maybe this is the, da uh, the database dump. Um... Hmm... Export SQL create. I mean, none of the rest of these seem to export a data file. Wait, for that thing I imported earlier, did that actually contain insert statements? Uh, if so, I might already be in business. Um, well, this could be problematic too, because there could be passwords in there. <laughs> Let's just try to deploy and run this and see if it... Well, hang on. Authentication's not in place yet. There shouldn't be, but there could be secrets in there. This does use Maven. Um, yeah, so each of these sub-projects here, or projects, I don't know what term there is, but each of these folders contains a POM file. So these each all build under Maven. Um, so I've already done all the hard work of building this under Maven. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure why this step was necessary, because how many lines were in the schema? Oh, that's not very much. Uh, grep insert schema. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's not a whole lot of inserts in here. And I was put taking a small risk. There could have been a secret here. But there's not. So, um... Yeah, I need to find a way to export these here tables. Um... Model. Anybody know how to dump tables from this thing? Can I select all of these? Control. Okay, I can't select more than one. Um, copy inserts to clipboard. That could work. This is going to be a little bit tedious, but that's fine. Um, hang on, I meant to do this, and then let's, yeah, let's do my SQL again, 
And since the inserts are in the clipboard, nope, they should have been in the clipboard. Copy insert. All right, that's not an insert. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, like there should be data. Uh, maybe some of these don't have data in them. I guess let's deploy this and then figure out how much data we need. Uh, so let's see, we've done the installation of Tomcat. Tomcat Manager is already up and running, uh, hopefully. Uh, we'll find out. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, this is going to resolve to... That is an external IP. That's not what I was aiming for. Um, Ah, <sighs> let's see. Do I have my host file here? No. Is my host file in my history? No. Where is the host file on a Windows box? Uh, it's C colon Windows System Nope, system32, drivers, Etsy, hosts. Uh, right, except we need to... Uh, well, we're going to see how far we can get with this. Um, so we got local host, some other host here. 192.168.1.10, is that right? Yeah, I was right. All right, and that's going to be my server. Yep, let's relaunch this in administrator mode. Save the local IP address. And then reattempt resolution. Okay. Um, Telnet. Okay. Connect failed. So, yeah, I do need to do something about my firewall on the box, probably. Uh, Telnet local host 8080. Okay, PSAEF grep Tomcat. Tomcat is running. Should be running on port 8080. Um, might be running on port 80 for all I... No, that's just the grep statement. Um, do, 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 do. Uh... So, we did a systemctl restart on Tomcat 9, um, but I don't see a Tomcat running. Uh, let's see. Do I normally keep my kifus in Japanese? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm working on Python chess, but for shogi. Uh, my progress has been unsatisfactory, but uh, but here I've got Python chess that I've forked from Niklas, and I've created a branch out here called Shogi. Or I'm confused, maybe this is elsewhere. Somewhere I've got a tool that I'm working on. Yeah, here's my super secret project where... Uh, I attempt to parse shogi in every possible notation. I could be confused. 
Um, but yeah, you can accept moves in this format. Um, I don't know if this fully supports everything yet. Almost certainly not. But, like, it's my aim to accept files in any form. It's not done yet. Um, so, that's one thing. Another thing is somebody shared with me some open source tool for downloading Kifu um, from 81 Dojo. And you have to be careful about how you use that because um, it may or may not be permitted by the site's owner. So, use with extreme care. Um, in particular, like, there's some features of the 81 Dojo that you don't get until you've unlocked bronze or silver or something. So, you can't go f too far back in the game history, or that might be abusing the site. So, be very careful about uh, that sort of thing. But yeah, that's why I'm excited that we have an open source tool... Um, so, I know I did the system CTL Tomcat 9 restart. Uh, that's system CTL, the tool that works with. It's not, it's not cron. It's not init.d. It's systemd. How with system D uh, locate tomcat nine dot service um, sudo update db okay we're gonna find the service file which is going to describe um, what the service is it's like whoops well this doesn't scroll exactly the way we'd want but yeah, this should start a process called Tomcat9. So I would call sudo service tomcat9.service. No, just that status. All right, this failed because no JDK or JRE found. So I have to install an appropriate version of Java as required by Tomcat9. Um. Tomcat 9 dependency. Uh, what version of Java does this require? Heck if I know. <laughs> um, okay, we're actually going to full screen this. <sighs> Introduction. To do terminology directories files tomcat 9 bin web apps catalina i just want to know what java version i need <laughs> uh, hang on because <laughs> i do have a jdk installed i just might not have the right jre installed so, okay java 9 good enough I think this also works with Java 11 if memory serves right, but, um, yeah. Uh, FAQ. Deployment. Alright, that's old stuff. Let's not look there. Uh, must provide a default JRE uses Java 8 or later. Okay. Uh, Java dash V Java version. Well, Java 14 is technically later than Java 8. Um, but maybe there's some incompatibility using Open JDK 14 versus. Uh, Tomcat 9. Um, open JDK Tomcat 9. Am I the first person to have tried this? Open JDK 11? Well, no, there's somebody in Stack Overflow says there's an error. 
Uh, this is pretty weird. I mean, I could just install Oracle Tom, uh, Oracle Java 8. That'd be fine. Um, actually, so when I say Java, user bin Java. Okay, so maybe I should actually read the error. Uh, the error we received was, please set the Java home variable or install the default JDK package. Oh, there was a reason at some point I needed JDK 14. Um, I could apt search default JDK. Um, it's not installed. Let's install it. I have nothing against installing that. Open JDK 11, sure, good enough. This is the default JDK for the distro. Oh, uh, overall this is going great, Telmarch. Thanks very, very much for making this available. Sorry for surprising everybody with this stream. I know you'd mentioned uh, if I had questions, I should contact you in Discord. I apologize for springing this on everybody as a surprise. Uh, uh, doing mad science coding is something I tend to do on my stream, and I forgot that um, that I should probably try to do some of this offline because this is the first time we've done this, and I don't want to make anybody look bad. And like this is overall fantastic, and I expected everything to go smoothly. I did hit one little snag in that I'm too stupid to figure this out, the import data step, but everything else seems to be going swimmingly. Yeah, this is exciting. I mean, I've done much crazier stuff than this with live installations, so anybody who's been to this channel and seen me do mad science before knows that often I'll tilt for hours and make some progress and then realize there's just too much to figure out. But here, like, this guide was pretty detailed. Um, seeing that we're using Maven was excellent. Seeing the .idea file gave me the idea to try to install stuff on Windows. I already happen to have IntelliJ already installed, thanks to JetBrains, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, some various thoughts. This has nothing to do with the project itself, but... Um, Shogi Harbor noted there are these four factors in terms that may be interesting in positions. And so I've just been keeping a running list of interesting Shogi ideas. So I forget who first came up with this, but I thought it was worth noting that every position could have five qualities, really. Um, that wasn't my invention. Somebody actually suggested that. Uh, but no, I was in here fixing my host's file to redirect like my server to the local IP address of the server that only my box here can access. So I shouldn't, in theory, need to rewrite any firewall rules because my server is already in the DMZ. But, um, yeah, so do I have... All right, I've installed default JDK. Um, let's attempt to restart the service. Hang on. Wait a second. Where was that command? Okay, I'm not going to search through my command history all day. Let me go back to here where I got the command from. So... Oh, right. I didn't actually edit the service file. I edited the configure file. So, yeah, this command should be fine. If I were to alter this, I'd have to issue a different command. Um, but yeah, this restart should suffice. And then I say system, uh, shoot, no, service tomcat9 status. And tomcat9 is running. And since that's running, I should be able to go here. All right. And this prompts me for, like, the username and password, uh, which I think are just Tomcat and password. Uh, let's not save that. Nope. Um, 
Yeah, we'll figure this out sometime. I did something dumb. Um, no, wait. There's the secret. I found it. All right, so Tom, cat, secret, sign in. Sure, whatever. And this is where you would deploy the war. Oh. So yeah, since Telmarch is here, I should ask how to build the war. <laughs> Uh, because I'm a bit... Yeah, okay. Well, my Ubuntu, I had taken the liberty of uninstalling Java and installing OpenJDK 14. And the reason I had done that was because I was having some build errors with Leeches. And after a few months of having those errors, I decided to rip out all the Javas and see, like, what can I do to fix the errors I was having? So that's why my box is so screwed up. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea to change that for a publicly accessible server. Uh, so my other question, just to myself here, is like, well, technically I don't need this here. We can test that later without that in place. Um, but yeah, I think this is a public-facing server, so I probably do want to change that. So nobody go hack me. It'd be nice if people don't hack me right now. I'll go fix it after the stream. But yeah, in the interim, uh, how do I build the war? Um... You were mentioning you just maven install all these things, right? So... I don't remember how to do anything. Well, this is my first time using this. I've used whatever their Python product is, but that didn't have a maven integration. Uh, okay, yeah. Alright, so... If that's the aim here... Um... I've already done that. Like, in fact, I've made a build script here that does the same thing as GitHub does. So I just call bash build. And that does the maven install and the maven install. And, oh, then it does the package. And the package should produce a war file. And that war file I need to move into the web apps directory. Okay. Um, but also, I should be able to do this on Windows. Uh, so let's try to follow the same directions on Windows and see if the same thing works. So those directions are under GitHub, Workflow, Maven. Okay, so first, library common. All right. Uh, can I drop this over here? Uh, let's see, this one, Maven install somewhere somewhere. <laughs> Run. Nope. <laughs> I mean, ideally, there should just be a war here already. That'd be kind of nice. Um. Oh, Maven. Maven, re-import, da 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 Show effective palm. Yeah. Right, I could just use the GUI Tomcat Manager. I don't have to do that from a console or command line. Um, well, it'd be nice if there were a Maven install there. This would be the place to put it. Reimport. Sure. Resolving dependencies. Click to open tasks window. So this goes and fetches every dependency that's required, etc. Um, uh, that's interesting thought, Abigail. I don't think Maven... Well, there are plugins for Maven that might help you do that. I'm not familiar, but certainly that seems like something a person would want to do. So, and there's, as a ge uh, general rule of thumb, 
uh, in with Maven, there's a plugin for everything. If there's a common business use case, uh, there's going to be a plugin that does the thing. It might not be easy to use. It might be easy to use. Depends how common the use case is. Um, so yeah, the, for this sort of thing where I built a WAR, go deploy it, there, you'd think that there would be something for that. Maven's never easy to use. I mean, did you see, like, I put this together, this five-line thing that builds all five projects, which have all these crazy dependencies on all sorts of other stuff. Like, granted, getting this all set up in the first place was Telmarch's hard work. Um, but yeah, this made installation super simple and building all this. So, like, some parts of Maven are easy. Uh, yeah. Right, now that makes sense. Uh, yeah, if you don't do anything too complex, and if you're doing something complex, it's not Maven's fault. So, um, yeah, so build. Oh, this is cool. Maybe I can learn how to use this interface. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, I mean, the thing... So I'd want to pick, like, Maven install on this, but I didn't see an install here. Generate sources and update folders. Maybe? Couldn't hurt. But, like, normally I'd hope there'd be a target folder somewhere and that all the artifacts of interest would automatically be generated. Um, build. Build project. Sure, build artifacts. I don't know. Oh, let's see. In the top right, add configuration, maybe. Uh, oh, this. Sure. Templates. Uh, I, maybe. It's a thought. Wait, no, this has the little M logo there already. Like, this is a Maven configured project. This is why I prefer command lines usually. Because um, GUIs are, can be tricky to navigate. But yeah, build. Uh, build project, sure. Parsing Java, writing classes. Nice. Oh wow, I actually picked this. I'm surprised. Did... If this just built all the projects, I am taken aback by how advanced this IntelliJ thing is. Uh... Did I get a product here? Oops, I accidentally double clicked. This looks like a folder. There's no way it built the entire site in seven seconds. That's crazy. Uh, built successfully, okay. Um, not sure what to say to that. Can I view this on disk? Like, there should be a file that ends in .war. Build, build artifacts? No. Maybe? Yeah, let's build the war. Sure. Dependence, oh, the GWT thing from Google has to be imported. Um, okay, this is more like what I expected. So I have to do all the projects in order. Fine, that's good. 
Um, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure how to Maven install on all of these projects. Um, GWT compiler. SQL result set. Did I forget to inherit a required module? Um, so I have a GWT compiler. Uh, let's see. Reimport the project from Maven to actualize dependence. I'm not sure where to go to do that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you're saying we built a war. Let's see, that would show up under target here, right? Yeah, let's let's upload it. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, where is this even on my disk? Show an explorer. There we go. Yeah, uploading it would be certainly a way to validate it. Uh, Tomcat 9 is running, so we don't need that help page anymore. Uh, upload, 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 choose file. All right, and we have this other directory here. This one, go. Deploy. Okay. Well, it's deployed. New tab. Play Shogi. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Um, close enough. Uh, whoops, we don't want to resubmit the form. I just want to reload the damn page. Uh, manager, etc. We don't need all that. Let's just go back here. Let's bookmark the manager because I might need that later. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That command line's probably fine. I actually prefer this anyway. So I've built a war here. Uh, let's see. Website, get maven. There it is. Well, no. Target. Here it is. This one. Um. All right, sudo update db locate web apps uh, rep web apps dollar. That's still way more than desired. Oh, here it is. Varlib Tomcat nine web apps lsl the contents of that. Okay, so these have permissions of Tomcat Tomcat. Um, so, uh, first we're going to undeploy this. And then second, sudo cp uh, this swar over here sudo ch own tomcat tomcat this thing sudo move this file into this directory all right it's been moved no we don't want to resubmit the form i just want yeah okay list applications so we've deployed the site built from linux Perfect. Hey, so, um, so we got the site up and running. Okay, this is what I expected. Um, so I skipped a step, and this is the consequence of skipping a step. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic for a first attempt uh, on my part. Like, for me, this is better than I could have dreamed. Um, so, yeah, the next thing is follow the instructions. So we skipped one step. 
that step we skipped was this thing, uh, the dump data SQL. And the reason I skipped that is because I don't know this tool. So yeah, we need to get some puzzles and stuff uh, into the database. But this is good. This is very good. Okay, yeah. So I know you included, this is just a schema, right? Like these are not the actual puzzles, right? I haven't actually looked at any of this yet. Okay, cool. So yeah, I followed the directions and got tremendously far. And if I had to, I could probably fabricate some data, but I don't need to. Um, yeah, everything about this is working. Uh, like this is in a position anybody could start developing with it. Um, so the next thing I wanted to check uh, was, is this site public? So if I comment out uh, my host file, I should be able to see whether or not this resolves um, for anybody. Sorry that's not hooked up to my chat device, or I dropped the link for others to look at it with me, but let's open a new browser, drop this in. Uh, yeah, I think this is public. In fact, I could try this for my chat device and see if that works there. Provided that it... I haven't checked whether I did anything tricky with the host's file on it. One second. See users. No, see Windows System 32. Drivers. Let's see hosts. Okay, yeah. So if I try that URL here, port 8080. Shogi website one o snapshot. Yeah, no, that site's live. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so, well, Twitch doesn't know what to do with it, but like, the site is accessible, so I could start going about securing it and stuff. Um, Uh, yeah, so in my case, I just need to build things, the data, the first time. So there's Suma Importer and Proset Importer to produce the data. Okay. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter one way or the other whether I have this in place other than for performance. So, yeah, we'll leave that in place there. Go back to the main page. <laughs> Do not allow pawn drop mate. <laughs> oh, isn't that timely? Somebody did a pawn drop mate the other day. It was exciting. Um, yeah, no, this is fantastic. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to use the importers to produce the data, etc. But um, let's see. So yeah, there's extras, play shogi website. Well, this is still pretty cool. Um, the other thing is like my ladder opponent, I'm sorry, my, uh, my tournament, my uh, tourney to showdown opponent would like to schedule their game sometime soon. Um, but no, I think this is, uh, excellent that I was able to get through this entire procedure. So we verified that this site is deployable uh, on an Ubuntu machine. Uh, yeah. 
These are very good instructions. Um, like you said, don't touch the firewall stuff unless you know what you're doing, etc. That makes sense. Um, yeah, and uh, at some point it probably makes sense to secure other stuff that I've left insecure. I could stop Tomcat 9 right now, etc. Um, but yeah, we verified that the code base is buildable on any machine, both Windows and Linux. We verified this is deployable on Tomcat 9. Probably would work on Tomcat 9 even under Windows. But yeah, we are favoring Linux because that gives us better development tools and log files and stuff for this sort of work. So this all went very smoothly. Um, I could check, like, yeah, I can invoke this and this and stuff. All these tabs are up. Very nice. Uh, cool. So yeah, anybody interested could go through a similar procedure to what we just went through. In the future, they could use these tools, uh, Sume Importer and Proset Importer, to produce data files and if they didn't feel like hacking data files themselves. So yeah, this is very nice. Um, so yeah, very great thanks to Telmarch and anybody else volunteering to work on the site. This is going very well. Um, yeah, we got to learn how our pull requests work, and that was a good adventure. Um, yeah, basically I create a branch, or I just make things on my master, and I ask, do you want this or not? And we can see, like, here's the file I changed, and you can either accept or say, I want you to change something before I accept it, or you can just close the request, uh, not accepting things. And so, like, this is how GitHub manages getting things from one branch into another branch. So, yeah, that was cool. This is just the recipe of the steps uh, that are taken to build the project. And we saw I did this both in GitHub. We didn't see I did this in GitHub. Uh, GitHub actually does the same thing. But we saw I did it on Linux. I made the build script that executes all five of those uh, Maven commands. And here, each Maven command is itemized separately, and you can see they all successfully executed in 9 seconds, and 4 seconds, and 3 seconds, etc. Um, I still haven't figured out IntelliJ. I've never used IntelliJ before. That's perfectly fine by me. Uh, this could be useful for people familiar with an IDE. I'll probably figure it out sometime. Uh, it's not trivial, particularly because anything web development related is challenging um, just in general so uh, or anything web development related anything application related and so here we're talking about a web application so yeah this is going to involve some challenges it's not going to be trivial uh, learning how to your, use your tools that work best on your platform uh, it requires some degree of skill and that's not at all the developer's fault here. This is just how tools work. Uh, so yeah, this is all going very well. Uh, the Maven to the very right of the screen. Oh! Wow, so I've got an ant, I've got a database, I've got a Maven here. Well, that is well hidden. <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh, figuring this out probably takes some learning. Uh, but this is suggesting, the GWT compiler is suggesting I should re-import the project from Maven. So it's not telling me which projects, I probably want to just do this on all of them. So if I remember right, uh, Play Shogi Library Common has no dependencies. The next fewest dependencies is held by Shogi and Shogi Files. So we'll re-import Shogi, we'll re-import Shogi Files. The next we'll do database and then the site itself. All right, so database, reimport, and then the Shogi website, reimport, and hopefully this should initialize GWT with everything it requires. And then you'd think like there'd be a build button that execute Maven goal, uh, generate 
sources and update folders for all projects. Hey, that sounds nice. Uh, I don't think there is any code generation per se, but uh, offline mode, skip tests mode, show dependencies, collapse all. Yeah, so let's execute Maven install. Yeah. So this is confused because it's not trivial. Um, no, this is a good thing. Oh, wait, do I have to do this on the other ones first? All right, so this is actually target specific. So when I select one of these, I have to pick Maven install on it. Okay, this requires dependencies. Could not resolve dependencies for the common thing. Um, following could not be resolved. Library Shogi. All right, let's try Library Shogi first. Um, Maven install Library Shogi. Maybe I got the order of this command, these commands incorrect. Maybe not. Um, yeah, maybe I just have to keep trying this on all of the projects until. Uh, idea gives in and lets me do it. I don't know. Interfaces are always a bit tricky. I, generally I prefer command lines, but interfaces have advantages too. Install on the libraries, then package on the website itself. Right, so yeah, we get the website is the top listed item here. These bottom four are the libraries, so we want to maven install them. It's just that I'm having dependency resolution problems. Uh, could not find Shogi library common. Well, this is what we're building. No, I'm sorry. Um, I've done something dumb here. I've locked myself into... Yeah, this is trying to execute this on something that's selected somewhere. Um, I think I need to select this up here, or this over here, and then attempt to maven install, so it attempts to install the library. But no, this keeps going back and trying to install the site. What I want is for it to install the library. I'll figure out some... You can expand the arrow next to the project also in the maven window to the... Oh. Yeah, I can, but, okay, can I run this goal then? That's better. Yeah, so we do this for common, thank you. It's losing my mind a bit. Uh, okay, how do I run this thing? I want to run this the same way that for common I was just able to go to plugins. No, I'm sorry, I went to lifecycle to run it. So I want to run lifecycle install on uh, library shogi. This is instructive. Um, yeah, and then lifecycle install down here. There we go. And then up to database, which requires that the other ones be installed. So we do database fourth. Okay, that worked. So we got all four of our libraries installed. And now we can go up and uh, I think all we need to do here is package to produce the WAR. Tests are skipped. Oh, well. Um, compile one warning. Deprecated API. Eh, what can you do? Yeah, life cycle. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you, it isn't necessary to install this. You could install it, but it wouldn't help you. Because um, this is talking about Maven. This is not talking about, like, the same concept as an installation in Tomcat. Uh, so yeah, this produces the uh, WAR file in a target folder uh, right here. So we see many more files on the file system as well as here's the actual 
WAR file. Uh, and I should be able to find this on disk, show an explorer. And we'll see, like, here the file size is 15126 kilobytes. And if I go back over to Linux here, um, we see this is 15505246 bytes. So, like, this is the same file size as this. Uh, I don't know that I have 7-zip. Oh, I do have this installed. Can we CRC32 this? No. Bummer. Yeah, um, but I'm satisfied that on Windows I produced the same file that was produced on Linux. So you can also build this on Windows. You just have to know to go to the lifecycle view of the Maven perspective here and run install on these bottom four, making sure to save database for after you've done the other three. See, install common, install shogi, install shogi files, install database and then package uh, the website. And this produces your WAR file, and then you can upload the WAR through the Tomcat Manager um, instead of copying it through the command line like I did. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, so we got through a full installation of this. Um, the site is up and running. Obviously, playshogi.com is up and running. My copy of this this also, for the time being, and probably not for long, this is up and running. I'll take it down, play some shogi uh, for ladder games and such, and maybe bring this back up. But um, yeah, it's amazing how quickly we was able to get this installed uh, from scratch. So, And part of that was even installing dependencies, like stuff I'd taken out, like the default JDK. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know that I have additional things to add. Um, obviously, like uh, I'm present on GitHub. I have a few repositories. I'm almost perpetually active there. I have 131 active repositories, only a couple of which are completely dead. Um, so. Yeah, some of these, like Dependabot, takes care of fixing all the security vulnerabilities, etc. Oh, uh, so I have a list of featured repos. This is something I could fix right now. Um, yeah, let's take out this meme thing and instead say we want to add Play Shogi to the list of featured repos. There we go. See, so yeah, I collaborate on this. This is nice. Oh, I can even move these around too, eh? Um, yeah, this is more interesting than my advent of code thing. Um, as fun as advent of code was, um, yeah, this is probably the best ordering in which to show things. So I'm most active with Stockfish. I might become super active, I might become not too active. We'll find out with Play Shogi. It sounds very exciting. I was glad I was able to get this up and running. So just if I ever have ideas, I can try them out on my copy of the site. And if they work out on my copy of the site, then I could ask if uh, the maintainer, uh, Telmarch, wants the changes or not. Uh, like, yeah, this is cool. Um, Oh, so yeah, being a contributor, I wonder if I have permissions to edit. Do, 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 probably not. Um, but like, you can actually go into this site here. I could show on my copy of this and like, where was it? Uh, about. So you could add a description. You could actually add the link of the site right there. You can say this is for Shogi. Um, can short description here so I don't know how do we describe this here I don't know that we have a description yet but like yeah then this is indexable and people can see like here's where you go to play it etc um, so this is pretty cool um, yeah very nice 
Um, yeah, I'm going to get scheduling my matches for today and or this weekend, but I might come back to this in a bit. So again, uh, great thanks to Telmarch for helping us get this up and running. Uh, this is great, and look forward to collaborating a bit in the future.